four of us we get to actually start. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're Mike, seven minutes into it. Yeah, Mike's coming, and I don't know about Larry and Brian. Brian, Brian said he was coming. coming. Um, so hopefully they'll be here soon. But let's you want to start with the minutes from last time. Yeah. Okay. I didn't see anything. <coughs> I looked at them already. But let me take a copy now. Okay. I'll them again. Oh, oh, there comes somebody. How was your burrito? <laughs> Eating quickly. I hate rushing dinner. We just started to make there's uh, copies of the agenda in those. Oh, awesome, thanks. And then what do you got? No, it's good. Nice. There you go. What we got? Oh, I'll yeah, trade you yeah, yeah, yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. major paragraph, this inevitably had us reducing the Conservation Commission money market fund or the Baker Trust or the Wentworth Trust. So I get that we came in under budget, but what does that mean? Uh, it means in other years, we, all, we basically only had a $400 budget because although our budget was $2,000, $1,600 of it automatically, more or less automatically went to mulling for yeah. prospect fund, which meant that every year we were depleting our trust funds. So uh, there's no on, on the just for our regular operating expenses. And okay. the trust funds are supposed to be for the okay. know, special. I feel like that could be worded differently. Yeah. That's because I, I would not understand that. Yeah, I wouldn't have got that from that sentence. I would also reword having a nearing deadline in the first, like with the deadline approaching or something. Okay. Do you want me to write it down? I can write it down. Wait, I don't know how to change that sentence. Huh? I don't know how to change that sentence. I just think having a nearing deadline just sounds. Oh. Hard. I think that that could just be made. Oh, I thought you were still talking about the, the money market and the. Oh, well, that too. Yeah, yeah. you can work on that. So I put with an approaching deadline up in the first paragraph. Yeah. yeah. You could put something in that other line, just something about how um, in years past to in years past we had to use the constant, you know, the money market, the Baker Trust, or the Wentworth Trust in order for, for normal operations or something like that. Mm -hmm. So just to connect it back to that sentence better. Yep. Um, would that go first? Oh, we just put you know, I mean, the same thing. So it's we explained how we took to over, which in the past like sixteen hundred was twenty thousand annual budget. Um, in, in order f in order to maintain normal operations, this meant in years past using the money from the money market, Baker Trust, or Wentworth Trust. I think you need to really make this thing short and sweet. This is, <clears throat> I think it's too much detail. I just, I think you're probably okay saying we came in under budget. No. Poop, period. You know, all the rest of the stuff. And you run the risk when you get into all this. And what, you people get $1,600 a year, $2,000 a year? Oh, let's vote to cut that at town meeting. Well, we already took it out of the annual budget. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I would like to keep it here because we, we took it out of the annual budget <clears throat> saying that we would put it in the, the meeting, uh, I mean, the minutes from the meeting. Okay. So we, I feel like we need to have it somewhere. Okay. That's fine. With me. So just say. You could just say, never, this, 
inevitably in past years we had to either reduce the, the, the fund, the money market fund, or one of the trusts. I mean, you know, you get to the bank or the Wentworth, just say, or one of the... Due to the high cost of mowing in previous yeah, years, yeah. the Conservation Commission... Yeah, yeah, you don't even need the numbers due to the, the high... The money market fund, the trust, and the Wentworth trust. Yeah, for normal yeah. operations. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah, for standard operations. For regularly, regularly scheduled. Yeah. 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 I think putting something about just like, yeah. Connecting it a little stronger to the sentence before. I think we can change the order of the sentences. The second sentence is kind of a run on also, but the one starts rolling. If this is going in, this is going in the annual report? No. Okay, I was going to say you don't want Larry to explain. No. <laughs> the, annual report. The, annual, the annual report went in. Uh, that's that last email I sent. Yeah. Well, that's what I thought. here understand that perfectly clearly. It's the people that are not members of the commission that would read that and say, huh? <clears throat> okay. I don't know if this is... Uh, I just did this. Okay. That whole paragraph. We discussed the budget for 2015, and this is the first year in at least 13 years that we came in under budget. Mowing Prospect Farm used to take $1,600 of our $2,000 annual budget, and this inevitably led to our taking money from the Money Market Fund, the Baker Trust, or the Wentworth Trust. This year, because the Highway Department took over mowing, over $400 will go back to the town. That, that sounds great. That sounds good, yeah. It flows better. Okay. Great. Uh, motion to approve the minutes. As amended. Oh, as amended, yes. Well, a motion to approve the minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just calling my name wrong. So I'm, gonna do I'm, I'm voting against the minutes as amended. <laughs> Sorry. Again. It's three to one. <laughs> I'll fix it for you, Mike. Thank you. All right. That's another amendment. Thank you, Leo. All right, now that we've got Mike's name right, everybody in favor of the minutes as amended? All right. Yep. All in favor. Great. You mean that's not how you spell it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, I'll start with something that's not on the agenda, because I just got a piece of mail. <coughs> uh, we discussed the wetlands permit on Francis Avenue, and they got approved to do what they wanted to do. So now we know we got approved. <laughs> Great. We didn't comment on it, did we? We didn't comment yeah, on it. Yeah, I know it. we talked about it, but we didn't. We talked about, about it, comment. but because it was uh, such a large amendment, we didn't. they had to go through the full review process anyway. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, so we all know, come this April, Larry and Margaret are up for reappointment. And Larry has said he doesn't want to be reappointed. So we need to find another member. Okay. I don't know what Margaret wants to do come April. <laughs> I think I'll probably stay. All right. So we just need one more. <coughs> I, can, I can get you one, right? I said. Who is it? George. George? Or not George. Howard? Bill Terry. Oh. Bill yeah. Terry. Yeah, the, yeah. the guy that yeah, came. Yeah, Bill. Yeah. Yeah, he... He's sort of looking for things to do, and I'm sure that he'd sign up. I'll, I'll uh, ask him if you guys are up, if, if that's okay with you guys. Is Bill Terry the one that lives across from the falls? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think he has to write a letter to the selectmen as the official yeah. process. Yeah. And I know that there have been somebody. Who was it that expressed interest? We were talking. Who was it? I couldn't tell. Lucy? Was, was it Lucy? Lucy? Yeah, but I didn't, couldn't tell if she really was interested or if she was like, okay. that's cool. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I, I really did. Oh, you know, uh, the other person was um, Rachel Fairman, too. Oh, really? Yeah. If we can get Bill to sign up, I'll just go to him, and if we can get him to get a letter in, then hopefully okay. we're all set. Yeah. We could always have an alternate table. I don't know. We don't need to get into it. I imagine we could have an alternate if Rachel wants to be an alternate. Oh, I know. I think, I think it was more of like a passing thing, like, oh, I didn't know there was a spot. That might be interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so it was so like. What happens a, if multiple people are interested? They all write letters, and then the selectmen. And then the selectmen is, yeah, yeah. I presume they would ask us, and then listen to our recommendations or not. I think it's usually, but yeah, they would ultimately be the ones choosing. Well, I don't think. My guess is that if Rachel or Lucy knew that there was someone else, they would say, "Never mind." <laughs> I, don't, I, think like a, I think they're more of like, oh, "That'd be." Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Great. I'm sorry, what was the piece of mail that you had? I missed that part. Uh, remember that wetlands permit that we talked about up on Princess Avenue? Mm -hmm. yeah, we didn't have to do anything mm -hmm. because it, they needed to get the full review. They okay. had gotten approval from the state. Okay. You could read it if you want. And, right, so wetlands. And just to double check, has everybody done their easement monitoring? Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I didn't do it. I, oh. call, I called you twice, too. Did you? Yes. I didn't hear your call. Yeah, you did. Did you leave a message? <laughs> <laughs> I, get your, I get your dog collages by email. <laughs> what? I got a dog collage from you. All the dogs that were playing in the snow. Oh my god, there was another really cute one that sent <coughs> baby animals. <laughs> yeah. But I nearly died. I was like, oh my god. I love being <laughs> <laughs> I figured that was a conservation kind of thing. Did you call me? Did you? Did you never like the message? No, I didn't call you. I saw you here and said, when are we going to do it? Oh, yeah. That, that was it. That's really good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet you could still fill the thing out online. I bet you could. I bet you could just do it, even though we passed the deadline. What's the password again? I, have to, I don't have it. Uh, we can look through the doors. Okay. I think I left it in. Because we need the password to get online. If not, I can. It's in the old minutes. I'm okay. sure we can go through the old minutes. I should definitely you have everyone in town. In yeah, it's all captured now. I think the door. We didn't walk the Tilney property. Because <coughs> you don't have to walk it. You can also say that you looked at it. Or you can call. Disgusted. You can drive by. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can call yeah. Dr. Tilney and say okay. any subdivisions going in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, awesome. There we go. <coughs> Clear cutting. All right, and then the other thing, not on the agenda, is kind of what Mar um, Margaret is still in. Oh, let's do Prospect Farm first. I'll switch the order a little bit. Okay. Uh, well, let's go with the, the sign discussion. Uh, I don't know if we want to use tonight to either work on our sign ideas or set up future meetings for the little groups. I'm happy to go with any, any of the. Have we got a starting point? In December. Other than what's there. Oh, in December we brainstormed at that meeting. Yeah, yeah, but um, and that's as far as we've gotten. So I far. think the, I think the thing to do is probably we're just talking the big. Uh, are we talking the signage all the way around? We did, not I know, in December talked about signage all over the place. Yes. Not just the one big one. Yes. So my, my plan is we're not touching the big sign unless yeah. people are adamant about it. Or, but I don't think we should touch, touch the big sign. Yep. And we should make a 8.5 by 11 printable from that right. that just has a blow up of Prospect Farm that has our marked spots where we're going to put our interpretive signs. Yep. And then you can print your 8.5 11 map off the website um, and take it up there with you. And then we would have the little kiosk in signs at the yeah. various spots marking the tr marking here's here's how you go to get to the yeah. cellar holes yeah. the only thing that i want i don't want to change the big sign the only thing i want to do is in the kiosk is just we can just print something up and tape it to the glass or whatever but just put something that says prospect farm is open to hunting you know please be aware be smart during hunting season yeah. something like that we can also add that to the town website yeah i think that would just be an well, easy we, easy thing to do we could have a kind of like a rule 
thing that we get actually printed on nice, yeah, like the same material that we printed the, all the other signs. Yeah, and attach it to it. Yeah, I didn't know. I haven't actually. I haven't, I haven't thought about it. But I didn't know if there's just space on the on the inside of the glass just to like put something. I don't think there's room on the inside of the glass, but if we printed it on that, whatever that poster board, which yeah, is, we yeah, yeah. Calls, especially because it's on the roof, <coughs> it should last for a very long, for a long time. Yeah, put out for your orange hats. Yeah, and we could have a very simple list of you know like welcome guidelines. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Watch out for mm -hmm. I don't know what. Like lice. Lice. Didn't, didn't you just suggest free hats? Yeah. <laughs> That sounds super sketchy to me. <laughs> well, do free orange hats so then you get shot. You, you know, I know about that paper was joking. Well, I, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Along with the hunter aware, we'll have a thing be lice aware underneath it on the same sign. On that same sign, we'll have a basket of hats that people would like take and wear and then put back in the basket. Like, no one's gonna do that. That's gross. No. I wonder if like you guys get far enough with George that time that you could kind of come up with something that maybe next month we could edit. Did you keep the notes? Yeah, yeah, that's what you, that's what I we got to do. Really good notes, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where they are. Brainstorming with a blank sheet of paper with a group is. If I find them. Like Not impossible, but also difficult. Okay. It'll start out yeah. with something, then I'll let everybody wrap the threads. Great. Do you, can you guys come up with some draft of yeah. the draft for next month? We can start there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to need to reread that. Because I, I always have high hopes in the meetings, and then the meetings are over, and I completely forget until one month passes. So just remind me. And after I forgot that I have promised George we'd let him know how to get in touch with us and us with him. Oh, yeah. And I didn't do that because I don't know how to get in touch with them. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Margaret and that's were about the small interpretive signs that would go at the stops, right? Yeah. Okay. It was, I, think all we did, all, all, I think all we did was identify the space, the spots. Yeah. The spots. We talked yeah. about. We need to, yeah, we need to go we up there. We talked about though. where some additional signs were going to go. Like yeah. the corner of the orchard trail. Oh, like park. directional. Yeah. Yeah. And then we, we all. This way to cellar holes, this way to Hall's Ledge. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. But I guess we're not going to move the kiosk now. Uh, is what we just I what, what was We had talked about swinging the kiosk. The corner or, yeah, pulling it out. Yeah, because originally I had said maybe we can, would it make sense to move it to where the parking lot is now? Because now that's, it's like much more visible. Because a lot of people come up, they park in the Bob Brook parking lot, and then they'll just walk down the road. Then they won't know where to go. Yeah. Like the people don't, I've seen several people that don't go I've around the corner. And they just walk down the road and they'll turn, walk for a while and turn around. So we talked about moving it over there but then someone made George have the idea of just swinging it mm -hmm. um, so that way it wouldn't have so, it just, so as you're driving up you're like oh there's a kiosk there and then you park and then you can yeah. walk over and look at it yep. mm -hmm. I would say as part of the rough draft to have like all those ideas yeah. and we could then well I guess I was going to say when the snow melts but <laughs> no. go see how it's <laughs> stuck in the ground to see how hard it is to pick it up and move it I think that's a great idea and we will have that forest service sign there too yeah that's yeah Plus whatever signs you want to make. Um, Mike, what's Lucy's last name? <coughs> Kaup. K-O-U-P? K-O-U-P. Okay. Are you putting her in the minutes? So you well, I was putting our suggestions in the minutes. Should I not do that? I don't think it's that. I mean, if you want to. Yeah, put her in the minutes. Make her happy. Okay. Just sure. read the minutes? <laughs> Well, Does anyone read minutes? Why don't you tell her she's in there? She may just have to read them just out yeah. of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put her, in, yeah. put her in there and we'll say that she's in I also mentioned Bill. I hope that's what I mean. Yeah. Anyone that's who funny. watches the video is going to know that we talked about them. And everyone watches the video. <laughs> 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 if you think the minutes are popular, <laughs> the video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to that. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's people out watching this right now. <laughs> Right. The other part of Prospect Farm is Margaret would like as to good as Downton Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, I better dress up next time. <laughs> I'm highly underdressed. Yep. Um, <laughs> uh, pursuing Margaret would like to think about or pursue putting Prospect Farm or Prospect Farm into a conservation easement, or at least understanding what the protections are under yeah, the gift of the property to the town. The will with the provision, which is really hard to read, but yeah. that second paragraph above the F sticky that was photographed on top. I know, that's really hilarious that it blocks out that whole section. That's because it's the only section you need is the second one. Mm -hmm. um, shall I read it out loud? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. 
I give my property in the town of Jackson in the state of New Hampshire, known as Camp Wildcat, together with all the land belonging thereto, some 500 acres more or less, to my son Ezra R. Baker, for life and, and from and after the decease of said Ezra R. Baker, I give said Camp Wildcat and said land in Jackson, New Hampshire, to the inhabitants of the town of Jackson, New Hampshire, to be forever held and used by it for a public park as part of the forest reserve, so-called, and as a memorial to my husband, Charles Morrow Baker, I having already placed upon said Camp Wildcat property a memorial tablet. During the life of my said son, he shall pay all taxes on said Camp Wildcat property, and no wood shall be cut therefrom for sale, but only such wood cutting shall be done thereon, as good forestry may demand from time to time. Okay. So, it says it's to be used as a public park, but I feel like that What is was the phrase? Was it public or town park? Public park. Public park. And used by it for a public park as part of the forest reserve, so-called. I wonder what the so-called forest reserve is. National, National forest, forest yeah. is what I'd say. Was it 1905 they established the... Yeah, the exact. Yeah. 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 It was 1911. Yeah, but they were, it was, it was, there were, before it was National Forest, it was, um, they had a different name. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that for five before, years. Before, before the United States Forest Service was formed, they were formed under a different name, and it was something like that. Uh, but yeah. they, there weren't any public lands east of the Mississippi. What, what year is this? Does it say? Um, the date on the, the, the post-it that was photocopied, like, <laughs> over the writing, says June 9th. 1942, Willow Edith Baker, June 9th, 1942. Well, in 1942, so, there certainly were national forests. Yeah, and this one in particular. Yeah. <laughs> Very much Although so. this, this, the post-it says Cyrus Gale conveyed lot 15 to Edith C. Baker, and that's 1905. That's when the Bakers got it, and he was the prior owner. Oh, okay. So 42? Because they kind of accumulated it. Um, so I feel like if this, I mean, I, I can't tell if any of these other paragraphs say anything about it. We have other copies of it. I remember um, Larry handed them out a year or two ago when George, when we were discussing whether or not we could call a town forest on the map, George was referring to this. <clears throat> but I think if that's all that it says, I feel like we need something a little... Well, yeah, I don't know. What does, what does that mean? What? A public park? Yeah. That would be my question, I guess. Well, I suppose it would be subject to whatever you'd find in a public park. I mean, it's a, it's a matter of interpretation. Yeah, so exactly. Which makes Gives it a lot of leeway, I would yeah. say. Yeah, I mean... <clears throat> put teeter-totters and yeah. jungle gyms. You know, it, it's, mm -hmm. there's all kinds of yeah. ways you could interpret that. I mean, somebody was talking about putting a warming or cabin on it yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yeah. That would fall under a park designation. Well, the town I grew up in Ohio, we had a park that had a, a public swimming pool in it. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a pretty wide open mm -hmm. definition, public park. I wonder how compatible that is with hunting. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got to go occupy it. <laughs> so, I mean, what do you guys think? Do you well, I mean, it doesn't hurt to find out what we could do, what the cost would be. Yeah. yeah, I think it would be interesting to call someone like Linda yeah. and just say, hey, like, what would be the advantage of this versus keeping it as town land? Mm -hmm. Like, what would, what, like, is this, is this worth our time? I mean, I'm sure within five seconds she could tell us whether it's worth our time and effort, mm -hmm. right? If we just made a phone call to her. Yeah, because I think she has come out and spoken with us. Or she was going to? She was going to. She was going to. Larry was trying to arrange it, and then she never came. So I guess we need to figure out, and use a phone call to figure out whether or not um, they think it, that there's some, it would be worth some while to consider. Yeah. yeah, and you know, it, it's interesting, they didn't, when we had that big meeting to look at land in Jackson, to, did, you, did you go to that, Pam? Do you remember when Upper Saco Valley came and we had that big meeting? I yep. And they, so they came here and, said, and had a big meeting on land in Jackson to set aside an easement, you know, they're like, this is what we've identified. What do you think we should identify? And I don't know if Prospect Farm ever came up in any of that talk. Because like, they, they came and said, here are some spots that we've identified in Jackson we think would be good for easements. Mm -hmm. and I, don't, and I think it was professionally facilitated, wasn't it? Yeah. 
And so I don't know if that was like... So somebody must have taken notes, I would think. Yeah, I don't know if prospect is included in there. I don't remember, I mean, they may have said like... They must have, though, because they were commenting on all the different lands. Yeah, I mean, I, remember we talk, I know we talked about Hayes Farm for a long time. We talked about the access to Doublehead for a while. We talked about a couple other areas, but I, I just, I don't, I can't recall them saying anything about prospect mm -hmm. being like a good candidate for an, uh, an easement. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I'm, like, I'm sure a lot of us could just email her. I mean, I can email her, right, and just ask. Yeah. I'll do that. I'll volunteer for that. That's fine. Great. Okay. And just, I'll just ask, like, what are, what, you know, is this worth their time? Yeah, and what are the advantages? What are the advantages? Yeah, we're just yeah. exploring this idea. And just give her the language, public park. Yeah, can I, can I take that thing? Yeah. Is she, I mean, this is a public record, right, so I can... Okay, so I could like, could I scan it and email it to her and say, hey, this is the, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And there was something more in here where somebody else yeah, we can it. get into the office and just put it up. So we can keep Yeah, so, oh, is that the only copy? I think it's the only copy in the You can trust him. All right. Here you go, Mike. That's a lot of trust. Yeah, I'm sure it's not <laughs> And my plans for building an amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> Again, now. <laughs> 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 make Jackson great again. Make Jackson great again, that's right. You get the one you have. All right, anything else? Prospect Farm. So next month we'll have some more stuff to talk about for both of those. So we'll have a, a draft set of signs. Is somebody going to do yes. that? Yes, these two. Yeah. Okay, you guys are the official draftees. Yep. <clears throat> They're the draftees. Which means that before next month, Margaret yeah, Lenny would go out there and walk around and look at stuff and really like yeah. do, do some stuff. We're <laughs> 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 do some stuff. Yeah. Um, so this. I'll try to get George's contact information so we can let him know. He would like to be involved in that. This thing here just has various things that talk about the prospect farm management plan. Do you think that would more detail, like in greater detail, outline? It wouldn't be legal protections, it would just be what, the what people have decided. Because, yeah, that's the... Yeah, the, 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 the change depending on... Okay. Yeah. What and else is next? I would imagine, I don't know how, I imagine like the other alternative to putting it into easement with a third party would be to get, like vote on something as a town, yeah. which you would then at least would need to like unvote in the future if you wanted to change the next time. So I can put it into a conservation easement in front of it. Yeah. You can change that by amendment, though. Oh, this is really interesting. These old bills from the orchard restoration. Yeah, I've been meeting minutes. Oh, that was in 2005. They had a Jackson Historical Society meeting in 1980. And it was all about prospect bonds. And somebody still got it. Hmm. I've never heard Camp Wildcat before. I like that name. Yeah. Okay. So you guys will have to... Camp Wildcat, yeah. yeah. I think the town office has a copy of the keys to those filing cabinets, so you can always come and look through them or just take my keys and do the same thing. Um, all right, so nothing else prospect on Jackson Falls. Same thing with the kiosk, so maybe we should come up with a draft for the Jackson Falls kiosk, which I have the notes on, so I guess I can do that. So I think the idea is that we were all supposed to come up with something Yes. Oh, yeah. Of what we're talk oh, that's about. right. We, yeah. I just vaguely remember that I was supposed to do some sort of like little natural info thing, and then you guys are going to do, I don't know if it was history yeah. or right. something else. Okay. So we will do that for next month. We'll do our little questions. Okay. And I'll put in the notes for that. Okay. So also. we're going to work on the next one, or we're going to work on it in between? Uh, I think we should work on it in between so when we come to the next meeting, we have something that we can so start. A starting point. Something yeah. to present. Yeah. And I'll try to take pictures of the other, like some of the other kiosks around town, mm -hmm. to get a visual image of what it might be that mm -hmm. we built. Do we need anything other than we've got the history and you got the natural? Is there anything else that we need for the falls? You had that in your notes. We had uh, we discussed kind of a you know maybe a map with a, like this is where you park, this is where the overflow right, park right. is, this is where the lower falls, some like rules and regul not regulations guidelines, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then natural and social history. Yeah, I think we're the. Okay. Main topics, and then with the rules and guidelines, would be phone numbers of police department or ambulance or whatever. No, no broken glass in the falls. 
I don't. I'm not. I'm not on that that subcommittee. Yeah. But my vote for a kiosk is a table one. Table like table slanted table kind of thing. Yeah. Versus a. Yeah. That's good. So you have less. A frame. Less of a profile. Yeah, it's a little less of a visual barrier. You know, yeah. it's nice to like read the cultural history and the and the natural history as you're looking yeah. at it. You know. I think, I mean, I think the, it would, the trade-off will be the tall one that we can build mm -hmm. for cheaper. Yeah. The low one we have to buy for probably a lot more money. A lot more money. And I've seen the... You could buy the nice one. No, the other ones, like the historic ones at the falls that mm -hmm. leave the Conservation Commission split with historical society. Yes, we did. The bills for those are in there from like 10 years ago, and they're yeah. on the order for like five grand, I think. Yeah. I think well, those are like real, thousands of dollars. Those are real, like real high class. Dollars. Those are totally impregnated into the plastic and everything. It's not. But we can dig through and get those. Yeah. And maybe see if that company still has in business and get quotes. Yeah. I think visually it'd be more appealing to like walk up and see that and then like a, you know, A frame kind of. Yeah. 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 That thing up I was basically picturing like, you know, the new Scuturi ones. I don't know where I like that. There's one at Prospect Farm, at their ski touring Prospect Farm lot, and one at their new Valley Crossroad lot. I mean, they're just like mini. Mm -hmm. And those are the upright ones. Yeah. Yeah, upright. Yeah. They're a mini, mini upright one. Yeah. I, yeah, I think those are good for trailheads. I don't know what I think about when you're like, mm -hmm. at, like, you've got a whole bunch you of got, stuff. You've got a whole bunch of, you know, like when you're like at kind of like a lookout, yeah. you know. $5,000 for this one. $5,000 is expensive. I, I could be totally, I'm, I don't know if it's five thousand, but I'm pretty sure where it's like hundreds versus. Well, if you look at it, those things are expensive. That's yeah. like I said, that's yeah. not just like sprayed on. That's impregnated into the plastic yeah. and everything. That's it'll last forever. I mean, it's a you know, it's whether you want to do a classy job or. Yeah. Well, they did. They tried to do signs down at the um, Tin Mountain Pond in the yeah. conservation yeah. People kept taking them. <laughs> they had real plexiglass and they had really pretty maps underneath them. Mm -hmm. Somebody had. <laughs> well, see, that's that's the advantage of those. Like yeah, down by yeah, the snow roller, no, but those aren't, those aren't going anywhere in the last forever. And that's oh, good, oh, good timely good information test. for the next twenty-five years. Yeah, it is. It is not as eye-catching for regulations. I mean, that is something that is different yeah. too. So, I mean, if you're like trying to get regulations across, yeah, you know, like a, a thing with a big A-frame is is going to like look official and but you're already sort of, it. you got to be careful where you place it though yeah you can really screw up the aesthetics yeah, you had yeah, a view shed of the <clears throat> whatever i'm not on that committee i'm gonna just no, shut my, all, all i'm just gonna happy. shut my big mouth <laughs> we're one big happy family yeah and this is i mean we'll all have to vote on it and, and yeah I definitely could go either way. I think there's good arguments for either. Because if we're also trying to let that brush grow up mm -hmm. and block the view to some degree, then it's kind of our. But anyway, we can discuss that next week. <coughs> and then I believe this is the month when, if we're going to plant more saplings, we have to. Uh, saplings, we have yes. to order them. Yes. Samplings? <laughs> <laughs> some dumplings, some samplings. No, it's some, some samplings of saplings. <laughs> Why <laughs> sampling? What sampling is Um, And what kind of samplings are you going to get? And I forgot the name of the organization from which we ordered them, but I was hoping we could go online. It's the State Nursery. Yeah, I thought we did. Uh, it was either the, ex, it was either the, like, the UNH Extensive Cooperative or it was the State Nursery. It was one of those two things. We talked about both. I don't know. My catalog from last year. Dog with samplings. Oh, you have the catalog? Probably. Yeah, everybody. Just, just to see the, right. it'll link me to their website. The earlier we place or order, the better selection we have. Mm. Because they just sell out so many What did everybody think of the selection last year? The stuff we did over. It seemed here. Oh, no. I thought that was good. I just, um, when you get the packages, though, you've got to be careful because I know we planted some of those Virginia roses. Those things are nasty. Yeah. They don't bloom in there. And they're not native. I don't know what the point was. <laughs> well, I, I feel like one bottom pulling out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you planning on native people there? I thought they were all native. No. I oh, don't really? think so. I mean, Virginia Rose. I, I mean, maybe they're native down. I didn't yeah, Virginia, I didn't remember right. that. And the worst thing is they're by the new stairs. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see what happens. There's not much sun. There's not much light there. So maybe we'll I didn't know that. Flourish, but I don't remember I that. I can't get them out of my yard. They're in the, they're in the lawn. I can't really? Get them out. Oh, they suck. 
and they don't move, they just prick her. And they came in one of those wildlife packages. Why would anybody want them then? <laughs> I don't know, maybe somebody else had better luck, but well, you, if they got big enough prickers and they're thick enough, you just put them places, you know, that'll help channel people in the paths. Sure, I know. But the problem is they will take off, too, and they'll go where you don't want them to go. Because they'll go towards the sun. Do we put those in last spring, or was it like in the past? Last spring. Mm -hmm. When we did our big I remember that. I thought they were all specifically... Well, we did, we did a bunch of, like, where's your dogwoods, and I remember, yeah. I thought we did a couple of, like, living moist... There was a bunch of hazelnut. Uh, yeah, that which was good. And we did yeah. plum. You know, that sort of thing. Right. But I may have had barber before that was like, um, it's invasive. Yeah, it's barber. And they still yeah. included yeah. in their packages because they said we haven't, they haven't been terribly invasive. I mean, I'm sure you're not like, have you seen, I don't know, story of it? Hmm. But I'm sure they didn't intend that to be invasive at all along the parking lot there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It keeps people from walking through, but still, I think that's barber. Yeah. The other thing, I guess we could be, I guess I'm not prepared to have a map, but we had always talked about for months having a map of the falls and discussing what other work we would like to do there yeah. this year and what to focus on. Um, we had that big... Um, that one wall. that Alice Pepper did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know where we find it. That though. thing's amazing. Someone has it, but... And we have all these copies that were given to Yeah, people, yeah. Is that where they're lying? I'm sure. I think the things that we had discussed doing this year would be the the idea of a permanent fence on um, the main parking lot and then also up on the edge of Carter Notch Road in between the handicap parking mm -hmm. spot and basically the new parking lot. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think we like relatively soon should nail that down and then bring yeah. our have a plan to talk to the selectmen about it. Um so we'll we'll just do an amendment to the plan that we create. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. we, Kind of from the discussions we had up at the falls yeah. in the fall, like we can kind of we don't need to keep going back. Right. Mm -hmm. We can kind of work on the plan and say, hey, this is what we thought, and go that way from now on. I can tell you what we got last year if you want. Was it in the minutes? I was gonna say, is it in the yeah, old I found minutes? It. I found the minutes? Better sell job if you get somebody like Thompson out there and, and walk him through what we want to do. Yes. Instead well, of just coming in. Well, that's the idea. He's also our. Um, Liaison. Liaison. So he has asked us to do this. Yeah, and then this is how to go forward. We'll get him out there. Okay. So last year we got the native species package, the dogwood package, 10 hazelnut and 10 elderberry shrubs from the New Hampshire State Forest Nursery. So just so everyone yeah. knows. Yeah, we could, yes. we could just do the same thing again, get different things. I mean, we could try to look up. Should we, uh, I mean, maybe we should ask what's in the native yeah, package if it seems like there's things, things that. Let's see. Um, it does tell you what's in them. Um, and I suppose it's a, I mean, a state without. Yeah, the worst thing that happens is you just discard yeah. Yeah. some of them. So I think this probably. Not New Hampshire Nursery .com. It's probably the dot org, yeah. New Hampshire Division of Forests and Lands. Yeah. Mm. It's a, I, I mean, there's a chance that maybe they would put things down there that grow in like the seacoast region that don't grow up here. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I don't know what. Yeah. It's not a big state, but there is some there's some difference. Oh yeah. Okay. It's a long state. The the season, big change in elevation. Um, Tom, uh, this will never be asked again because Larry's not here, but I figure in his absence I'll ask, and that is we did decide on not um, putting in that bridge and like continuing to cut on the island on the lower falls. Is that right? I can't remember like, how we left that. We left it that there would be no bridge. No yeah. bridge. But we, we haven't gone out and cut in a while, we have we? Cut. We could do that. Yeah, because we did. We cut one year. That was two years ago, right? two years ago. Yeah. So it might be worth just yeah, like, I, I like that there's not a bridge there, but it might be worth going back and cutting. Yeah, but, I think yeah, that's a great idea. I think it's worth cutting. Yeah. yeah. So that way it's still, you know, accessible for most people. So we've got... Yeah, the bridge mm -hmm. opens up all kinds of cans of water. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think planting is even is cutting the lower falls, fence. <coughs> I think we should put more wood chips down again for the past. That's a good idea. Um, and look back at the plan, 
We're still supposed to be like helping the soil and not path areas. Mm -hmm. And I forgot what the recommendation was for that, like how we add the soil mm -hmm. back. Yeah. Besides mm -hmm. getting a dump truck full of loam. They should seed themselves. You know, do or this is the native. Yeah, so I pulled up the catalog. Although, you know, this doesn't, this is just, let me see if I can find the packages. This is just like conifers, hardwoods. Do you think it would make sense to put any conifers in them? Seedlings? Probably, I mean, you could, just, theoretically, the hemlocks hopefully are having more hemlocks. Mm -hmm. All the native species are available in the specialty packages only. Okay, so. The native species package has bayberry, American hazelnut, American plum, Virginia rose, and fragrant sumac. And Good thing with Virginia good. rose, she can plant them up in her place. Yeah. <laughs> just what I love. Just what I love. And then the <coughs> sumac, like somebody was saying they really didn't want sumac. Um, yeah. What about. So you're um, saying the Virginia rose is not native to New Hampshire? This says it, it, that they're native to New Hampshire, but their definition is they were present when European settlers arrived in the early 1600s. So. That's about as native as. The winter survival package. <laughs> Don't need European that. cranberry, crab apple, bayberry, hawthorn, and rugose rose. Mm -hmm. I don't think we want that. Yeah, what's the wetlands package? That's um, what we dumped over. Winterberry, Over here. Over here. Aronia berry, button bush, wetlands rose, and pussy willow. I mean, we do have really saturated soils in that one grassy section, but I feel like that was where we put a bunch of dogwoods, which I also really like. But then they cut them down. Wet soils, yes. Mm. Oh, that's right, they didn't do that. It's mostly the grass. Yeah. And a little bit, but not. But we had planted quite a few. Yeah, we did a lot of saplings. But where they cut, I don't think we had that many saplings. In, in that like grassy field yeah, section where people want to put down their towels. Yeah. Did uh, did anyone ever follow up with that about asking them not to cut again? Well, it's my understanding that they might have a different road agent coming up, and maybe yes, there is have, a new road agent. Maybe we can have a chance to you know, the nice guy. talk with the new agent and that sort of thing. Do you know him, Margaret? Not super well. I think his, his first name is Patrick. I think um, I only know it because the farm that we buy eggs from for the bakery. Okay. The man that I buy the eggs from, it's his son-in-law. Oh, okay. So he comes into the bakery. Yeah, we ought to invite him into a meeting and talk to him. Yeah. About some of this That's stuff. That's a great idea. <clears throat> great. So there's just five, six packages. The dogwood, the native species, winter survival, wetlands, songbird, wildlife combination package, and the Christmas tree sampler. Oh, Christmas, Christmas tree sampler. <laughs> Start a Christmas tree farm. Um, American cranberry, beach plum, aronia berry, American mountain ash, and crab apple. Mountain ash would be all right there. Do you think it's high enough for mountain ash? Maybe. They can grow. All right. Oh, I don't know if it's, I always think mountain ash would like a higher elevation. Yeah, but I think if you plant them. Yeah, I was, but yeah. Well, why don't we do... I kind of get the uh, seems more like we should pick individual ones, even if it's more work. Seems like there's something in each that is right. objectionable. Well, out of the dogwood package, why don't we get some more red osier dogwood? I just know that one the best, that's why I picked it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty and it does well, it holds. It likes wet soils. Yeah, wet sweat soils. You can put that red on the edge. Yeah, it's good for stream erosion. Yeah, yeah let's get that again. So what did we spend, $100 last year? You want yep. to shoot for the same? Yep. Okay. Um, and then out of the native species one, do we want to get more hazelnut? Let's get more hazelnut, yes. more plum. Can we get these as singles? Do we know oh, what's available as um, singles? Mm -hmm. Well, why don't we write down the ones we're looking for then? Okay. okay. Well, um, and, and if we were happy with what we got last year, could we just always pull out if we didn't like the Virginia? Yeah. We do that. Right? And we just pull those out? I mean. Right. You mean like pull them out of when we get them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but if we can purchase separately so as to not buy the ones that we're not going to use, then yeah, I, yeah, I guess I know it would be cheaper. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You just work out the economics of it. How about sumac? There's somebody who just like really opposed to I don't sumac. Have to sumac? Very. I don't have a problem with sumac. <laughs> is it staghorn sumac? What sumac is uh, it? Fragrant. It says fragrant sumac. Yeah. 
This is, yeah, I don't know this tag one. I hope about okay. elderberry. We got huh? elderberry last year. Yeah, I I both of those like sunny spots. Uh, sumac? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Like the staghorn sumac is like edge. It's like edges. It's like fields and forest edges. Oh, dry to wet. And there's some sumac out on the island. Which one? There might be. I don't know. I think so. Birds come and they pick. I would get elderberry. Yeah. They pick elderberry. Yeah, elderberry. That's good. We would have to go down in that section by the parking lot. There's more sun, I think. And that's a good. That's a good bird one too. So the hazelnut likes dry sites. So if we get that, we should remember that and put it higher up. Yeah. And does mountain ash, can they grow in the shade? Could it go up in the higher section? Like under the... Uh, Is it shade tolerant? Uh, it must be, right? Because mountain ash grows like naturally in like a transition zone right below the boreal. Yeah, but it's always on the edge. It's like where the ledges are near. Yeah. yeah. I think it, I think it might need like full sun. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, it's, it's like, it's right at that transition where it switches over and it's like birch and mountain ash. There isn't a hell of a lot of sunny areas by those falls. No, just by the parking lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which would be great to plant a bunch of trees in those monkey spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's probably where you want to put the fence. <coughs> yeah, if we can, uh, yeah, I think ideally we'd build the fence and then plant a bunch of low bunch growing of trees. Bunch, yeah. On the other side of it, and then mm -hmm. the fence goes away. Yeah, the trees stay. It's nice thing the blueberries do as well as they do the little bush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People have a lot of fun picking up there. Yeah. I think. That'll be a hard thing to maintain, maybe. Unless we come up, we could come up with a complicated mowing plan where it's like, yeah, you know, mow here every two years, mm -hmm. mow here every five years, right. to keep if we want to keep blueberries in certain areas. Yeah. I think I'd like to eat the blueberries, mm -hmm. right? Sure, yeah. but we definitely have to like mow. We have to mow, yeah. yeah. Which is a little hard to be and like. That's why the blueberries have always been there because they've always mowed. Yeah. Not that they've mowed the blueberries down, but. Mm -hmm. um, this website says that mountain ash is relatively shade tolerant. Let's get some mountain ash. Sure. They're pretty. Yeah, they're pretty. Mm -hmm. That one you can buy. I think most of them you can buy individually. Yeah, it looks like you can buy everything. Um, so we have elderberry, hazelnut, sumac, also you can buy dogwood. Separate. You want to get the red mushroom, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. I, need, I don't know my dogwood. So the, that's good for soil. The red osier? The, yeah. the sumac or the, the red dogwood? Oh, yeah. I was looking to see which one's good about the erosion. Use it, uses uh, stream bank erosion control. Yeah. Great. So we got dogwood. Yeah, let's just get ready. So you can get them um, by to like 10, 25, or 100 for each. And it's 15 for 10 and just 25 for 25. I'm just do a 10 of each. To get cheaper as you get more. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so. We got anywhere else we could plant other than the falls? Further downstream? Well, we planted a bunch back there. So that's yeah. 75, right? Fifty. You no, might they're fifteen for ten seedlings. Oh, you might want more um, dogwood. I mean the osier or the erosion control. We can put them along the edge. Yeah, put them on the edge. And just you know poke them in there. Great. I think we just get those. Looks like we get those five because if we get one in a package of twenty-five, that pretty much takes us there. So you got like the dogwood in a package of twenty-five instead of ten. Okay, so twenty-five dogwoods, ten hazelnuts, ten sumac, ten common elderberry, and ten mountain ash. That sounds good. And then, yeah. That's 85. That's 85. So we have $15 left. We can get 10 of something else. Well, if we're actually going to plant along, we could get another kind of Get dogwood. another another dogwood that's good for erosion control. Silky dogwood? Is that good for erosion? It says planted for hedgerows, windbreaks, and for stream bank erosion control. Sounds good. All those native hedgerows. Mm. <laughs> mm. American Irish cranberry. It's really pretty though. American. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Cranberry. Alternate. Oh, cranberry's good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Is that erosion control too? Yeah. No, that one's, well, that one's wet, well drained. Uh, there must be this somewhere. Yeah, yeah, no, there's um, <laughs> there is a. <laughs> We've learned something today. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it is because there's a high bush cranberry at Pinkham's. There's one oh, like okay. directly outside of the trading post. Oh, the garden. What about it's where the, the birds. It's, 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 yeah. it's one that's always red. The birds ignore it all year long until like there, there's still no food the left. Leaf dogwood is kind of like a hobble bush. That's what it kind of looks like. You know, the leaf. Want to get ten of that? Ten of those? Ten which one? The alternate leaf dogwood. Instead of the cranberry. I mean, we can get whatever we want. We're all five. Uh, five at one five. Five dollars over. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, we went under for the first time in 13 years, and yeah. we spent five bucks extra on planting. Or we can reduce the red osier back down to 10. No, just go for 105. Hey. Are we 115 now, I think? Go for 115. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like us. <laughs> 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 That's the right, we're good to list. Yep. Okay. So. All the 10s are 15, so we have 10 cranberry, 10 mountain ash, 10 elderberry, 10 sumac, 10 hazelnut, and 10 alternate leaf dogwood. That is six Eight times, times. yep. Um, and then 25 is the red osier dogwood for $25. Yeah. So that's 85 plus 25? That's 110. Um, that's 120. It's, it's more than that, I think. 85 plus 25? It's 110. Yeah. yeah. Right? 85 and 25 is 110. No, 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 that's 110, but I think that we miscounted this part. So it's 6 what, times 50. What's this we? Yeah. It's 90. It's 115. It's 90. 115. Yeah, plus 25. Okay. Is that okay. what you guys said the whole time? No, we're saying 110 because you gave us 85 instead oh, of 90. Oh, no, it's 150. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So I think that was how we buy that business for $115. Wait, wait, wait. I want clarification here. I'm making a little too much of this. All right. Great. Everybody agree? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Let's order the plants. All right. I think. Are you doing that? Who does that? I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Any anything else? No. Great. Nothing on the raise. Yeah. Adjourn the meeting. Motion. 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 Motion.